So as we learn in these elbows, and as we're going into these scores, we've worked the high crotch off an elbow. We've worked the change into a high crotch, into a double leg, and, and we've worked the dump position, and we worked the, the phases of that dump in order to be real successful at putting the points on the board, okay? And now we're gonna go into the duck under. And this is one of my favorite. I think for kids, uh, this is probably the easiest thing to learn from an elbow control. And I say kids, I should say everyone. If I have college students come in for the first day, I mean, everyone on my team, we're gonna drill an elbow control of duck under because I just like the changing of the levels. If you ever hit one in a match, well, that's gonna be a bonus, okay? But I like the fact that we're changing levels and we're filling the pools of the elbows, okay? And, and that's what happens with the duck under. But the ones that really develop the duck under is it's, it's, it's pretty valuable to them because then we, we start doing things like duck unders into double legs, duck unders into high crotches, duck unders, you know, that's leading us into shots. It's actually we're hitting a duck under and then we're changing off in the middle of that duck under to score because we've penetrated so far underneath them. So let's focus on the duck under. Um, and really, I believe that this is where you probably should start with, let's say, if you're a coach out there watching this, if you're an athlete wrestling out there watching this, and you've never worked elbow controls, worked the duck under first, just to kind of help you get a feel of the pull, okay? And it seems to be a little bit easier for people, okay? Because we're not attacking legs, we're not going to the mat, okay? All we're doing is pulling them over and changing levels. So. Elbow control, everything stays the same. Listen, I never in my entire career really had a good uh, left hand elbow control. I occasionally took an elbow, two elbows, and I said this at the beginning of the uh, video. I don't, I don't get to this position very often, okay? Um, I, I like taking an elbow and posting and jamming forcing the guy to come back inside, forcing him to try to push off of me, just forcing him to feel uncomfortable. You know, so again, I'm here, okay? Now, on my duck under, the side I'm jamming, the side I'm jamming, and this is what I'm doing when, when, I, when I'm taking an elbow on this side, which I take it all the time. I'm jamming right here, I'm jamming. And when he tries to fight inside, I keep him jammed, fight inside, come on. Come on. I keep that jammed. And at the same time, and at the same time, I'm sitting here, here. I keep that jammed. And then I let it go to penetrate. That thing pops through and I'm gone. Okay? So, what I want you to think about on the duck under is this. When I come in, a lot of times they're, they're fighting inside. That's okay. Okay? But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to want to just rotate this hand to the outside, this thumb right here. Okay? And, and, and what I'm calling this is a little bit of a monkey grip, okay? Um, I'm monkey gripping it. And, and a monkey grip is all, all, all your fingers together and you're wrapping, okay? I don't want my thumb in the, I don't want my thumb jammed in here. I'm gonna keep that in there all the time when I'm hitting high crotches. All the time I'm jamming. And then I'm releasing and going, okay? But on this duck under, I wanna, I wanna release it and and roll that hand to that tricep muscle because that's gonna be my pull when I hit this duck under. So I'm coming in, I'm jamming. Just, just stay on the outside, there you go. I'm jamming, I break the thumb, I'm still breaking the thumb over here and now I'm rotating right here, okay? Now, this is where my duck comes in. As I'm hitting the duck under, I'm gonna hit an inside step with my right leg and then I'm stepping outside with my left leg. They're both they're both moving together. My inside step is, is going, actually going first and my trail leg is following me, which would be my left leg. So as I hit this duck here, I'm really pulling him straight into the mat, okay? So I'm, I'm rotating my shoulders. We know that we're rotating here, okay? But, but my hand's not dropping. I'm keeping my hand up because I'm hitting the duck. I'm still rotating my shoulders, but with this hand, with this monkey grip, I'm doing this. Boom, pulling straight down, bam, okay? As I'm ducking this arm, I'm putting, his, I'm putting his 
body right into that mat. I don't want to hit a duck under and him end up staying high. Okay? It can happen, but that's not the that's not the dynamics of what I'm trying to create right here. So I'm here. And a lot of times I this is a move I can jam my head into him. Okay? And I've got this monkey grip. Okay? And then I'm going here. And this is what happens. Okay? Is there's so much force. And remember what I said with an elbow control. When we get a proper elbow control, we can push this guy all over the mat. And when I get an elbow control and I get that inside tie that I want, that monkey grip, I'm going to put pressure on this guy to get some coming back and then I'm penetrating with my duck. I'm just going to disappear right underneath the guy. Okay? So I'm here. Okay? We're here wrestling. I'm, I'm there. I'm already in my position. Okay? This guy went to my head. It's even better. I've taken an elbow, so he's really limited, limited me from trying to break the thumb. I can't penetrate anywhere with this jam. I'm about to break it. Okay, but if he goes to my head, okay, that's the, that's that's gold for me because I don't have to break the thumb. All I got to do is penetrate now. So I've got the elbow, outside step, inside step, taking his hand straight down right here. Okay. Coming to, we can split the legs here, step across, we can turn, do a lot of things. Following, following through with the shot. So, the duck under, I love it. If there's one move um, that, 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 you know, people go, wow, you know, they, they, they got they're like, wow, that was awesome. It's the duck under. You know, um, uh, sometimes like a, a hard double leg, you know, you're blowing a guy off his feet. That's a wow move, you know, but so is the duck hunter. It's slick. It's quick. Um, you know, it takes skill. You know, it takes changing levels, you know. Uh, so uh, duck hunters are, are beautiful. And, and as a wrestler, everyone should know one. So again, I'm coming here. Let's make a half turn here and focus on the. Focus on the elbow control side. So we focused on this side, the monkey grip, pulling straight down. We're going to focus on this. I'm coming in. Head is still on the opposite side. I'm always, all my, everything I'm doing, if you notice, is, is I'm penetrating my head across. And I'm, what am I giving up by my head being on the opposite side? What do I give up? I said it earlier in the film. I'm giving up the angle. Okay? A little bit. But. Elbow control allows you to do that. Okay, so I'm heads on the opposite side. Once I get this elbow, this thumb pat passed, and I'm jamming him, I'm going to back him up here. And the first time he gives any reaction back into me, boom, I'm gone. Okay? I don't want to be pushing on him and then trying to shoot. Make him put push back. So be physical because you do have the elbow. You do have the elbow, and you're jammed in there. You're ready. Okay, all we got to do is make sure that this thumb rolls over the top and we can, we're able to monkey grip and pull down. So we're here, okay, I'm coming in right here, bam, right there, I felt it. Be ready to pin him, okay. Really, um, it's, it, it's not hard, but what, it, what we are doing in this <clears throat> that I failed to tell you, is that we are seriously changing direction, I mean, changing levels. So I'm starting up here, okay? And then as I go, I mean, I'm going here. I mean, my, my, my lower torque, my lower area is dropping all the way down to my heel, my butt's on my heel, I'm here, okay? So I, I, I'm going from here to down here, and we're doing that quickly, okay? But we also are penetrating with it, okay? I'm in position. I'm gone. Outside step, inside step, right here. Nice and easy, quick duck hunter. Now, keep in mind that a lot of times when we hit this duck under, what happens sometimes is we do slip off. Um, our, our grip slips. When we, when we pull down, it slips. It slips because he's pulling up. But the important thing with that is 
We've left him standing. Remember, he's got to kind of pull up when I'm pulling down. And when he pulls up, he's standing up on me. Okay, so a lot of times, let's not go to the mat, but when I hit that duck under, yeah. you know, you're kind of reacting to it. And so when I hit this duck under, okay, I'm telling you a lot of times, guys that hit duck unders, it happened with me often, you end up hitting, following up from a duck under into a double leg. You realize you're slipping, I just come and I want to just wrap right below the, right below his butt. That's the, this is the sweet spot right here. If I can lock my hands, I'm going to do it right below his butt. That's how I'm going to control. By controlling those legs, pulling them get up, I control those hips. Okay? I don't want to be coming up. I don't need to come up around his waist and, and give him the chance to maybe wrap. And, um, you know, I don't, I don't need that. I need to take him to the mat. And so I'm here. Okay? And as I duck here, he pulls out. Okay? And the hands come down. So let's do it. In, uh, just pop up. So just kind of pop up. We got to do it live. Yeah. So these. I'm here. Come on. Right there. Okay. What do you want to do from here? It's easy. You don't need no angle. Okay. I, I can. I can just start lifting. And if I if I want to change, create an angle, I can to take him to the mat. I can lift him right out of the air. Okay. But. What happens a lot of times is you're not prepared for the double. You hit your duck under and, and you end up not retreating right back into him. So if you notice when I hit this, when I hit this, this duck under and he pulls out of that duck under. And what I mean by pulling out, what I mean is that I ended up not getting this arm to the mat. My goal on a duck under, if that hand touches, I'm scorned. Okay. Here's what I mean. When I hit that duck under, that, that hand touches, I'm done. I'm scored. You know, all I got to do is drive across. I can even go to a double there, but I prefer to keep pulling that hand down, okay? And going, as I hit, keep pulling that hand down and, and pulling right to his leg. So after that hand, after this, after I pull this, come here, after I pull this arm, I'm pulling across his body. I'm not just pulling it straight. I'm pulling it down. It hits, and then I'm pulling it across. I'm taking it from him. I'm taking that that arm, that post from him. Okay. I'm here, taking that post from him. Okay. A grip. All right. He takes it from me. He pops out of it. He pops it. Boom. Right here. Okay. We can lift him. You can drive through it. We can do whatever we want with it. Okay? So the duck under to the double leg, be prepared to make that change because that duck under can lead you in. We would love to duck him, put him right to his back, or, or score immediately, put him to the mat, but be prepared for your double. And you have a combination of, of two ways of scoring when you hit that duck under.